Well, good day, tubes. How's she hanging? Holy friggin' crap, it's cold <laughs> out today. It's actually warmed up a little bit since the first thing this morning, but oh, we started off at about minus 17. Minus, yeah, that's one seven. You know, and some of you guys out west, I understand that's, you know, like a t shirt day for you, but you know what? Three, four weeks ago here, it was 40 plus degrees. Maybe a little longer than that, maybe five weeks ago. So it was 40 plus degrees. But now it's minus 17. That kind of sucks. So welcome to Canada, eh? But anyways, we got a little test today. A little test. I want to test with my heater, but the big heater. In my really frozen truck here, which you know what? We should do a grimy cold start on. I've actually had a a little problem with the battery in this which is actually still a battery that's under warranty but it did the same thing as the last motocraft battery so i think i'm just going to go get something different um let's let's test it oh it's cold out here still let's test it now it sat here it ran yesterday and it sat here um well that tester is going to be really cold it sat here um all night. Let's stick it under my armpit for a second. Arm it out. Um, but my state of health is fine on the battery. It's like 98%, which is good. But my state of charge seems to drop overnight, which means I believe that the electrolyte in the battery is going bad. Or the, uh, the acid is going bad. And uh, it's not a very old one. I think I've maybe had this battery a year and a bit, and there's a 36-month warranty on it, so. Oh. Oh. So cold. Stay on. I don't know if I can even get these to stay on here. But, uh, yeah, I just wanted to double-check this when it was really cold out here. Oh. Okay, hang on a sec. Okay, we're actually showing more voltage than it's normally had. It's usually down... Just about touching the top part of 11, so that's probably going to be fine today. So, ooh, that's cold refreshing. Select language English, please. In vehicle. B4 charge. I haven't started it today, so. Regular flooded. It's a 750 cold crank amp. Okay, let's... Ooh, that car just went by smoking dope. <laughs> Holy jeez, you're not supposed to do that while you're driving there, bud. So state of charge is 40%. That's better, but state of health is 100%. So it's supposed to be 750, but it's actually down to 690 amp as it sits now. So it says good recharge. It says that all the time, and it starts. We'll just do a key fob start here. I can find my key. Oh, is there a door open? I left my door open, didn't I? Nope. Hmm. Oh, I know why, because the stupid hood's up. I gotta push that button. Okay, so we'll just we'll just do a key start then. Uh let me just make sure I got this thing in the right spot. Uh, I guess we wanna do a crank test start engine. Crank test start engine, okay. Yeah, there's a little push button here that you have to push down. You're only supposed to start it when the hood's down, apparently. I don't get that, but anyways. So, let's see how slow she cranks it. Minus, uh, well, let's just turn the key on and see what the temp is out here. Minus 8 now, so that's not so bad. A little bit of a... <laughs> but it's cold. Mine, yeah, fighting that too, so... So we're testing, it'll test the uh, starter. Cranking normal, it says 9.90 volt or so. That low, I'd like to see that up around over 10. Okay, let's do a further, we can do a charging test. And that's always come out good, it should be 14 and a half roughly. And pretty stress, it looks kind of good on its own. Somehow it came from a detective. <laughs> Testing a little tester this guy. Got it up on Amazon, I believe it was. 
has to load it is uh, 1450, no load is 1468. It's all normal there, so that's good. I'm gonna unplug that and just plug that back in. And you were charging it, charging good, so the alternator is good. So. But uh, definitely a little issue with maybe this, uh, this battery. Now, I don't know how long you know, that would have stayed, would have been on the shelf when I came to buy it. I got that from the Ford dealership, and I, I don't think I got a super good battery there because it was cranking slow like that before. <coughs> oh, pardon me. And uh, we seem to be doing it again now, so I'm going to have to go get a new battery, I guess. Oh, well, batteries are freaking expensive in Canada, so... But anyways, uh, got another little thing I wanted to try here today. It's minus eight now. Um, back in here, just to test if that heater puts out some carbon monoxide. Oh, I got a tester. So we're gonna mount that fella in there and let the heater run for a bit and see if it starts beeping. If it does, well, we're we're not good, but if it doesn't, well, then we are good. <laughs> so let's go see if we can get to the shed. It's freaking cold. Holy crap, my hands are freaking shivered. <laughs> I'm not used to this. I got I got warm Canadian blood, not cold Arctic ice polar bear blood. So, uh, but anyways, let's uh, get down to the shed here. I'm sure it's minus eight in there too. Uh, so it's shown here about minus twelve. <laughs> In here holy freaking crap that's cold oh my gosh it's freaking cold uh but anyways i gotta somehow set you up i'm just on my iphone today uh i gotta set you up and we can get this thing unboxed here and and going okay it's best i can do right now i didn't uh, bring up my other camera today but uh is that any good at all i hold just maybe back up here okay i'll come to this side the jet here Holy crap, so this is a, I got these in my house and I actually put one in the garage down there because we just got a new, put the new heater in down there, propane feller, and uh, I was thinking actually using my old one up here, but it actually was having problems, so I thought, no, I better not, so, okay, so there, oh boy, need to get the heat on, holy crap, there she is, um, it's got, to, the tape doesn't want to come off, it's so cold. Holy jumping. Well, with this big heater, the only one good thing is it gets it hot really fast. I'm not working out here today, but this was just a little a little test. Okay. So this thing, when you actually put it on, uh, let me think now. This way, sorry. When you slide this feller down here, it clicks the guy in there which starts the battery so we're gonna ooh, mount her up on the wall it came with some screws uh, back part of the package holly jumping there's some screws in here so we're gonna mount her to the wall and uh see ooh, ooh, see if we can make her beep uh, got to mount it somewhere where it's not going to get a huge draft. So um, maybe just maybe just up on this wall or something. Okay, I actually mounted it up here because I forgot I needed like a surface this way. It doesn't work kind of. I guess you could put it that way. But um, and just before we get into it, no, this is not a real skull that I dug up out of the cemetery. It's a uh, good reproduction though. It's a plastic one I found at a Halloween store. Looks real though, doesn't it? It's pretty good, I think. But no, it's not real. So we uh, just line up this feller here, I think, I think that's it. Holy gee, she's gonna blow. So that'll take a second, it'll come on with like a display. Sort of coming on with a display, and then you should see a zero if it's uh, detecting, right? Well, while it's doing its thing, oh man, let's get this freaking heater going here. Holy jumping, it's cold out here. Oh my goodness. My fingers are just numb. Uh, I gotta plug this guy in. Down here, sorry, can't see, I know. Oh. 
and uh, get her back as far as we can. It does leak this thing a little bit though, which I think is kind of interesting. And make heat. Make heat. Make heat. Oh, thank you. Alright, so we'll just double check this thing. Zero. So if it detects something, it should start beeping and warning you and stuff to uh, get out. So we'll let it run for a few minutes until she hopefully shuts off. Woo. And uh, we'll see if we get any beeping happening. Okay, so we're up to temp pretty good here and no beeping. Not yet, anyways. I'll let her cycle a few times. It'll probably turn on pretty quick here being this cold out. But we're up to uh, 19 degrees in here. That's pretty freaking nice. Didn't take long either. That's a big... Huge ass heater, uh, but long enough that uh, I've taken your guys' advice, of course, and uh, reconfigure my door here because yeah, that is kind of like shave your your temple off right here on me, anyway. So uh, I'm going to put this one up maybe higher, and uh, hopefully I can still have room for two. Uh, I'm getting that sorted out here. Probably won't film that though because I got to use kind of two hands and I don't have a tripod out here, so. Uh, give me a second. We'll get this reconfigured and uh, we'll keep working it here. It smells, but there's enough gap under the door. I think that it's letting some air back in. So, but uh, it smells like a airport jet engine fuel and stuff, right? But uh, anyway, so we'll keep working on this for a minute here. Okay, that's a little better, a little higher. We shouldn't get a a shave off of that now. I'm uh, if I'm walking through the door, I'm looking. Uh, Maybe about by the, well, a little higher about here, but that's uh, quite a bit higher than me. Um, let's see if I can uh, get us all in the shot here. I think we're good now, so. But anyways, no beeping yet, and this thing's ran a few times, and we're keeping temp up to, uh, yeah, we got nothing yet, so. That's pretty good for, you know, basically right inside here. And we're, uh, it's probably going to turn on again soon here, where we were, uh, 15 degrees, so imagine any, any second it'll light back up. You can, I, I was listening to it actually when you're, when I'm standing there working on this door and you can hear like a little ding, like not a, not a bing, but like a, a spring noise, ding, kind of like that. And I guess that's the, uh. I guess that's the uh, little thermostat coming on. So, uh, but so far so good. Let me let it run for a little longer. It doesn't have a whole lot of fuel left in it, but um, uh, there, there. Did you hear that? Dink. So any second now it'll turn on. be dripping you know if I left it on for a couple hours there anyways I bet you it'll be dripping uh, I don't feel any real warmth on the wall but there is some snow on the roof so that'll create a little bit of insulation for a little while but not for too long so but uh, anyways there we go so I'm gonna let that run a little bit longer and uh, you can hear it in here. We'll uh, see if that thing will beep at all. And you know, if it doesn't, I guess that's a good thing. But still, the fumes of it is kind of kind of crappy. But it's nice, quick, fast heat because that was cold in here and it got warm really fast. So I know there'll be uh, some carbon monoxide coming out of that thing, but. I don't know, maybe it burns up hot enough that it burns that up. Is that a thing? I don't know. Sure is nice though. Alright, 
this thing's been running off and on for probably a couple hours now and uh, still no CO2, carbon monoxide, anything on there. So maybe we should test it. It's beeping. I don't know how to stop it now. <laughs> there. So it should basically reset himself. So there is a... Uh, hmm, should reset itself here. There. There is a lot more than carbon monoxide that you have to be worried about. Um, burning this does create a lot of carbon dioxide, which is not good for you. And uh, there's a couple other chemicals sulfur something or another that's not good for you as well but uh, the, the point of this heater is not just to heat this thing while I'm in here working it's to do the first initial heat boom, get it warm in here and then use my electric because that electric takes forever and uh, it, it'll keep the heat up once the, the electric guy here will uh, inside here will keep the heat up once you get it uh, up to temperature here that's going to turn on again I'm going to turn this off actually now just before it does, I just heard that click and I'm like, oh, it's going to turn on. Uh, yeah, the uh, the electric will keep it warm in here, but it's just the initial heating of the space here to get it to that temperature. So, and as of right now, it uh, takes a lot to get this warm in here with a little electric heater. So, uh, but anyway, so, yeah, that was my, my game plan, not to really run this thing the whole time. But that was a good two-hour test of seeing if it would produce any carbon monoxide and it hadn't by the showing of this guy so uh but uh yeah so that was uh kind of my game plan was uh to just run that thing just to get it warm and then uh, plug in the electric and keep it warm with that so but uh anyways uh actually the main reason i came up here was to grab that tire off the bike from the other the other day here and uh take it down and put the new tube in it for dill even though he's not riding right now, of course, with a broken leg and uh, winter time outside. And I'm sure if you didn't have a broken leg, you might want to ride it. But anyway, so yeah, that's it for today. It's a, a good test. But like I say, um, there's a lot of other chemicals that do come out of these things. But um, uh, one thing I was reading on these heater, if it's, if it's a properly adjusted heater, you really shouldn't have very much carbon monoxide at all come out of it, which is good. But like I say, there is other byproducts of burning that stuff too so uh but anyways so there we go that's it for today um uh, one of these days i am going to get some insulation and start working in here we'll, we'll get her warm and then plug in the electric and then keep it warm and it'll probably be really warm up there you know but uh it's cooled off already quite a bit in here so that's a bit off about 15 minutes maybe now now we're already down to uh about 13 or 14 degrees there so she's cooling fast but Anyways, that's it for today. Thanks again for watching. Uh, this is a little test I wanted to do and uh, didn't seem to make carbon monoxide, but there is a lot of other nasty fumes. So, And uh, this thing seems to be working pretty good. Now it's actually pulling on the thing, so she's holding down nice. Let's just let that do it all. So, suck. <laughs> so anyways, catch you later. Thanks again for watching. You guys have a good day.